Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate WooCommerce using Pabli Connect. So if you're managing an online e-commerce store, then you might know how much time it takes in order to manage all the tasks which are involved in managing an e-commerce business, such as sales, customer interaction, invoice, prices, and etc. So with the help of Pabli Connect, you can simply automate all these repetitive tasks by setting up a simple connection between your WooCommerce store and Pabli Connect, and that too without the requirement of any coding and programming skills. So if you want to learn the full process step by step for that you have to come towards my screen welcome to my screen everyone as you know we are going to learn today how to set up connection between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect in order to automate all the repetitive tasks which are involved inside managing a e-commerce store. So if you are using WooCommerce as your e-commerce platform, then this automation is definitely for you because by setting up a simple connection between your WooCommerce store and Pabli Connect, you can automate all your repetitive tasks such as sales management, data collection, customer management and etc. just in few minutes that too without the requirement of any coding and programming skills. So here I'm going to connect my WooCommerce store with Pabli Connect. For that, we'll move forward. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, you will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user of Pabli Connect, just click on sign in option to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account just in two minutes. Also, when you will do that, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Currently, because I am already an existing user, so I'm going to quickly click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create the automations, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, you can find all your workflows which you have created. And you can also create different folders on the same dashboard to save your workflow separately. Now I'm going to click on a create workflow option to create a new workflow in front of you. And in which I'm going to show you how to set up connection between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect. So here, first of all, I'm going to give a name to my workflow. Automate WooCommerce using Pabli Connect. And then I will select the folder in which I want to save this specific workflow. So you can see I have a list of folders. Among them, I've already created a folder with a name as automations for WooCommerce. I have selected that and now I will simply click on create. As you have done that, you can see that a new screen is open in front of us, which contains two important windows, trigger and actions. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or the building blocks in which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Let's suppose first of all I'm going to show you over here that how you can connect WooCommerce with Pabli Connect as trigger so that whenever a specific event happens inside WooCommerce store then the response of that event will be quickly with all the details captured over here inside Pabli Connect and further you will be able to automatically transfer that same response to any other application according to your requirements. So here let's suppose I'm going to take so let's suppose I'm man so let's suppose I'm imagining that I am running an e-commerce store with the help of WooCommerce and I'm selling all my products on WooCommerce. So I want that as soon as a new order will be placed by a new customer on my WooCommerce store. So I want that as soon as a new order will be placed by a customer on my WooCommerce store for any of the product, then immediately I want to capture the response of that order with all the details which will contain the product details, amount which the customer has to pay, the customer details and etc. And by using that response, then further I want to create a record in my Google Sheets of all the orders which are being placed in my store. So let's suppose I'm going to take WooCommerce in my trigger and Google Sheets in my action step. But when we are going to set up a connection between these two applications, we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the order is being placed inside WooCommerce, then only the record will be created inside Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let us quickly start setting up connection between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect as trigger. So here, as I already told you, what the concept, what is the concept of trigger? It is going to start the entire workflow. So let's quickly go towards our trigger step. And here we have to select our trigger application that will be WooCommerce because we want to connect WooCommerce store with Pabli Connect as trigger. Okay, when we have done that, 
Here we have to select the trigger event. Now trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So on the happening of whichever specific event among these you want to capture the response, you have to select that. We have the options such as new order created, order updated, okay, order restored, new customer is created, customer updated, customer deleted, new coupon created, coupon deleted, etc. So here let's suppose I want that whenever a new order will be created, whenever a new order will be placed on my store, then I want to capture the response. So I've selected my trigger event as new order created over here and here we have received a webhook url also we have received some instructions which we have to follow in order to set up this connection so first of all let's copy the webhook url as it is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data from woocommerce whenever new order will be placed towards public connect okay and that too instantly so as we have copied the url now we have to follow the instructions first of all it is saying that you have to log into your wordpress admin panel and locate the settings tab in the left column as woocommerce is a plugin of wordpress so first of all you have to come towards your wordpress site if you have not installed woocommerce as plugin inside wordpress you have to do that first of all after selecting woocommerce then you have to see the option of settings under that we have to select settings option and over here we have the option of advanced let's select that quickly we are setting up a connection between WooCommerce and Public Connect as trigger, so we have to use Webbook over here. So we have to go towards Webbook's option as we have already received a Webbook URL and we have also copied that. So we have to insert that Webbook URL over here. So how we are going to do that? By clicking on this Add Webbook button. Then we have to simply enter the details over here. So first of all, it is asking us the name. You have to provide a suitable name to your webhook. So for whichever reason, for whichever purpose, you are setting up this connection, you can give the name to your webhook according to that. Let's suppose I want that whenever a new order will be created, then I want to capture the response. So I'm going to give the name new orders. Then we have to select the status of this particular webhook as active so we have activated the webhook then we have to select the very important step that is topic topic is the same event which you have selected over here on the happening of which event you want to receive the response that you have to select over here because i want that whenever the order will be created so i want to capture the response so topic will be order created over here then finally we have to simply paste the delivery url that is the webhook url which we have copied from public connect i have already done that and now we'll simply click on save webhook as we have done that here, our webhook is updated successfully. So we'll go back towards Public Connect. It is showing waiting for webhook response. And here you can see that we have already received a test response. This is the ID of the webhook. So this means that our connection between WooCommerce and Public Connect is successfully made. What we will do, we will simply click on Recapture Webhook Response button over here. And now it has again started showing waiting for webhook response. So when we will do a test submission inside our application, then the response will be immediately captured. What kind of test submission? Same. We have to perform the same event which we have selected as trigger event over here because my trigger event is new order created. So when I will place an order inside my WooCommerce store, then the response of that order will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to once again take you towards my WooCommerce store and we'll go towards the product section. These are all the products which I have in my store for sale. So what I will do, I will purchase one of these products to place an order. So let's suppose I'm going to purchase this floral multicolor wallpaper. So I'm going to click on view. So it is going to take me towards the checkout page inside my WooCommerce store for this floral multicolor wallpaper. So I will simply click on add to cart and here I will click on proceed to checkout to place the order. Here the customer will have to enter the details in this checkout page such as name, email address, company name if they have any, street address, city, mm -hmm. state, pin code, phone number, email address etc. And now with these details I am going to simply place the order. So the name of the customer who is placing this order is new customer. The company name is dummy company. Here we have the country of this person as India. We have the address new street 129. We have the town Bhopal street as Madhya Pradesh and the zip code. Along with this we have the email address as well. New at the rate and the phone number. Let's simply click on place order because the payment method is cash on delivery and the amount to be paid is 210. Okay. And here when we have placed the order successfully, let's go back towards Pabli Connect and we will check whether we have received the response of this order or not. And here we have received the response. As you can see, in this response, we have received all the details related to the order as well as the customer. So here we have the metadata ID. Here we have the name of the product which is being purchased. Then we then when we scroll down here we have the mode of payment which the customer is using in order to make the payment. Here we have the address of the customer, first name, last name of the customer, postcode that means the zip code of the area. When we scroll down here we have some other details as well. Over, over here we have also received the email address of the same customer and here is the price which is to be paid. So when we have received this response, we can say that now our connection between WooCommerce and Public Net is absolutely successful.
In the same manner, you have to set up the connection between WooCommerce and Fably Connect as triggered by following the same steps. Further, once you have set up this connection, you will be able to automatically share the same response which you have received from WooCommerce to any other application automatically. For example, if you want to create a record of all the products which are being purchased, you can add Google Sheets over here, MS Excel over here. If you want to send a WhatsApp message for the order confirmation to the to the customer who are placing the order in your store, you can add WhatsApp Cloud API over here. Also, you can add Gmail to send personalized emails meals to your customers. So these were the steps which you have to follow in order to set up connection between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect as trigger. Now we'll move forward towards setting up the connection as action as well because we can use WooCommerce and action as well in order to add the response from any other application which we have received inside WooCommerce to create new product, update new product or etc. Okay, so we'll move forward towards that. So here we are going to learn now how to use WooCommerce as action steps inside our automation workflow. So in this scenario, I'm managing a Google Sheets which contains the details of my WooCommerce product. So I want that as soon as I'm going to enter a new row along with some new details over here in my spreadsheet, then immediately by following that same response, a new product should be created inside my product list of WooCommerce. Okay. So in order to automate this process, I have already set up the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect and I've already captured the response over here. Okay, here the product name is given as ebook on social media. We have the regular price, we have the sale price and all other details. So by using this response, we are going to quickly create a new product inside WooCommerce. So I've already selected the action application as WooCommerce. Now here I've already selected the action event as well to create a product. But in the similar manner, you can connect your WooCommerce with Pabli Connect as action as well for any of the event, for adding a new customer, for creating a new coupon, for adding a product variation and much more, okay? So as we have done that here, now I'm going to click on connect. And in order to build the connection, I'm going to go with add new connection. So in order to build this connection, we have to enter the consumer key and the consumer secret along with the website URL. How we are going to get all these details? First of all, let's start with the website URL. For this, you have to first of all go towards your WordPress site and you have to look towards the URL. Okay, you have to paste that URL over here. As we know, WooCommerce is the plugin of WordPress. So we have to come towards our WordPress site. We will look towards the URL and so and here we have the site URL. So up till this WP3, we will copy and paste it over here. Done. Then here we have the consumer key and the secret. So how are we are going to get that? It is given over here to create or manage keys for a specific WordPress user. Navigate to WooCommerce settings, advanced REST API in your WordPress dashboard and click on add key button over there. Soon as you will do that, you will receive the consumer key and the consumer secret. So you have to first of all create a REST API in order to get these details. I'm going to tell you how you have to do that. So I'm going to once again take you towards my WooCommerce store. We have to go towards the settings option once again over here. Here we have the option of advanced, so let's go over there and here we have REST API option, so let's select that. Now here we have to create a new key, so let's click on this add key button. We will quickly enter some details over here, if you want you can give a description. So I'm going to give a description to this key as let's say new products. Then here we have the permission, so I'm going to give the permission of read and write both. Then you have to assign a particular user over here to create this key. I have already selected that, so I'm going to click on generate API key button. And here we have received a consumer key and the consumer secret. First of all, let's copy the consumer key. We'll move back and quickly paste it over here. Then we have the consumer secret. So let's copy and paste it as well. Okay, done. We'll quickly click on save. And in this way, you have to set up the connection between WooCommerce and Fably Connect. Then we'll move forward towards entering the details in these fields to create the product over there. So here we have already received the response from Google Sheets. We are going to use the same response in order to create the product. So what we will do instead of entering the details manually in these fields, we will simply map the data. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Okay, so here we, first of all, we have to enter the product name. In our previous response, you can see we have received all the details. This is the name of the product. When we will select that, it is mapped. So as we have mapped this name, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, it is going to replace automatically. And here, now this means that whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets and the response will be captured, automatically this name and all of the details which we are going to map are going to replace. And we will be able to automate the entire process of creating WooCommerce products whenever a new response will be captured from Google Sheets or from any other application, okay? Here, if you want, you can enter the product slug, but I'm going to keep it blank because this field is not mandatory. Then here we have the product type, so I'm going to select simple product over here. If you want, you can select the product status, okay? We have multiple options, draft, pending, private, or publish. I'm going to select publish over here. Then if you want, you can also enter the SKU over here. We have to move forward towards the regular price. So here 
here I have the regular price. I have mapped that. Then I'm going to map the sale price of the same product. Okay, if you want, you can give a certain description of the product. So I'm going to give the same description as a name. Then here we have certain other details which are also not mandatory. I'm going to move forward. Then if you want, you can also enter the quantity of the product which you are selling. Here we have the status of the stock. I'm going to select in stock over here. Okay, we have the weight, dimension, etc. So all the details of your products you can enter over here according to your requirements. I also want to insert the image of each of the product and we have already received the URL of that. So I'm going to simply map the URL of the image. And after entering all these details, I will click on save and send test request button. And here we have received the response. In this response, you can see that we have received an ID of the product. Here, here is the name of the same product. Here we have the slug and we have also received the image link. This means that our product is successfully created and published over there inside WooCommerce store. So let's go and check. Here I'm going to go towards the product section. We'll go towards all products. And yes, here we can see that here we have the new product that is ebook on social media. Here we have the status of the product as public and also the images attached. This means that our connection between WooCommerce and Public Connect as action is already set up. Okay, so here quickly we will summarize what we have done in this workflow. I have connected my Google Sheets with WooCommerce in such a way that now whenever a new response will be captured from Google Sheets, automatically by using that response, a product will be created inside WooCommerce. In this use case, I have told you how you can set up WooCommerce and Public Connect connection as action step. Okay, so in the similar manner, whichever application you are using in Trigger, you can share the response of that application towards WooCommerce for any of the event which you want to perform as action step by setting up a simple connection like this. So these were the steps which you have to follow in order to set up WooCommerce and Public Connect connection in order to automate your e-commerce store. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Public Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also please like our video and subscribe subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.